All right, so this is some power data on professional female and male cyclists on basically how good they are. So we're going to go through the women first and then the men. And I think, first of all, it's important to say that actually it's not very important in reality, like how good um, the numbers are it does not always correlate to how good you are at riding a bike. So for women's basically it's like P10 is the 10th percentile. So basically people from if you rate everyone out of 100, 0 to 10, and then, you know, 0 to, tw like, up to 25%, 50%, 75%, 90%. So the top 10% is down here. They say in the study that I, well, I can really bother to get up. Basically, top 25% is what you need to be competitive. So for the women, like, the bottom end is not, um, is not crazy. Like, you know, 7 watts per kilo for a minute, 5 watts per kilo for 5 minutes, 20 watts, 20, uh, sorry, 4 watts per kilo for 20 minutes. Um, the top end is more exciting, more interesting to look at. So, like, 17 watts per kilo for 5 seconds, that's pretty strong. Uh, 30 seconds at 12 watts per kilo, a minute at 9.4, 5 minutes, 6.5, um, 10 minutes, 6, and 20 minutes, 5.5. Now, what will be interesting is to compare this to the to the men's as well. Um, but sort of all numbers you expect, you know, around 4.9 watts per kilo for, for that. Uh, the watts is not, is also like separate. So this is just, you know, the best top 10% of any power is 370. And I think that goes to show that the average woman is obviously who cycles is obviously not very heavy because like five and a half, you know, that's the, the top 10% is 305 watts. That means, you know, there's a lot of people weighing sub 60 or a lot below 60. So we'll go over to the men now as well. Um, slightly different here. Um, so if you actually compare to the women's, you'll see the, the top power is a lot higher, but actually some of this is, is pretty similar, the bottom 10% of professional male. Um, we're going to go through this in a minute because actually it's quite funny and that I somehow are <laughs> around here, which I don't get, but which is why I'm quite dubious about it. In terms of the watts per kilo at the highest end, um, it all seems about right, you know, 1800 watts for a second, 15, 29 for five, um, a minute at 820, like that, maybe that seems a bit low, but then the thing is you think like 10%, how many sprinters are there? So it sort of gets um skewed i also don't know what data they did they did 188 cyclists so you can see not many women which is a bit of a shame uh but 144 men so you know how many are sprinters that may change it five minutes 530 that sounds pretty normal 7.6 watts per kilo though that's pretty high seven watts per kilo for 10 minutes 6.6 .6 for 20 that sounds about right um to be like you think top 10 percent means like grand tour guys are doing a lot more than this uh again like the longer power, I think, is less important because, you know, it's not a max effort. So it's it's sort of after an hour, even an hour, like not many climbs an hour dead on. So it's probably like what they do for 40 minutes would be would be more interesting. But we're going to go to the bottom 10 percent because I don't think this is very high. Um, so 17 watts per kilo. Um, I'm just going to get my calculator out because uh, I'm I'm going to calculate this, you know, not when I'm stupidly lean. It's a thousand watts for a second. It's like done that. Then like 15.7 times 60 is like 942 watts. Like none of these are that crazy. Like sub nine watts per kilo for a minute. That's really not very hard. Like, like honestly, like that doesn't seem very high enough. And you might say, oh, like, you know, your Pami overreads all the rest of it. But like, no, nah, honestly, that is really quite low. Um, And if you, if you took an average UK hill climber and you got a bottom 10% world tour guy, they're not winning. Like, I was doing, like, 6.7 for five minutes and coming, like, fourth or fifth. Um, like, obviously, they're going to do more power, like, 430 watts. I'm not doing that because that would be, like, 7, 7 watts per kilo. But, like, for 20 minutes, five and a half, like, that doesn't seem very high. Like, I know it's bottom 10%, so maybe these guys are, like, 80 kilos. You can see that's, like, 370 watts. But, but then I think this maybe is also where it gets confusing because that 20 minutes at 370 watts is like the bottom 10%, but then those people might be climbers. So I do think it's a bit weird having that. So I don't think lo looking at the bottom 10% is too important because like, you're like, oh, I'm better th like at sprinting. It's like, yeah, but you're better at sprinting like a 50 kilo guy. Like, do you know what I mean? Like the, the absolute is not too important, I think on this. I think on that, it's more interesting. But yeah, like 5.1 must be kilo for half an hour, 4.7 for an hour. Like, that really doesn't seem very high. Like, I know a lot of people who can do, do more watts than that. Like, I've done more watts on my time trial bike for an hour than that is. And I lose a lot of power on my TT bike. Like, I don't really get it. So, it, it then makes me think maybe this study isn't that accurate. Because I just can't believe that you'd be world tour 
doing or like pro conti being doing those numbers like surely you're not like obviously their endurance is really good but i don't know what what do you think below i think these have seemed too low considering that i'm not very good at riding a bike in comparison to world tour and pro conti guys and i am on i'm the bottom 10 percent on every single one of these i can do all of them um including the sprint and my sprint is terrible uh which just seems bonkers um 25 percent we're starting to get more like i've done 5.7 so not quite 25 percentile um and then like 6.2 for 10 i haven't done 6.8 i have done just but you can see it definitely steps up i have done 4.9 for an hour to be fair but like it definitely is um getting like more a lot harder like 25 percent um four hours four was per kilo that, that again that, that's not max effort so that's fine and then when you sort of get to 50 75 percent that's when the numbers could start to get a bit more bonkers like i think the thing that's crazy probably for me is the middle like to be top 50 percent, you have to do six was per kilo for 20 and i think as like mm, i don't know i think most people probably think, think six was per kilo for 20 or like a climber but it's like nah that's like not that bonkers um so yeah but then to be competitive you need to do 6.3 for 20 6.8 and i think that's maybe one thing is like the the 6.8 for the 10 sorry 7.3 for 5 that's a lot 7.3 5 is like pff, nuclear um but then six for half an hour seems like more reasonable like some of the drop-offs seem a bit weird but maybe it's just because they don't do half an hour max testing but like do you know what i mean like a 0.3 was we get a drop off for like i don't know i don't find like my half an hour and 20 minute power is that different because it's like once you're at that point you can just sort of continue um and then five and a half for an hour is, is pretty pretty large but anyway um yeah those are my thoughts as well with the women's i think maybe similar like i i don't know how much to trust some of the data because they've got even less they only got 44 people and like some of them i think the top end the top 10 percent seems right based on my estimations maybe i think like van bluten i think has a threshold of about five and a half so that would make sense maybe 5.7 a threshold so that would make sense but I do think some of these seem a little bit too low as well. Like surely, you know, 20 minutes at four was per kilo. I guess if you're a big sprinter though, like, you know, your 80 kilos doing 320, that's suddenly like whacking you up to like, you know, stupidly high on the 20 minutes. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just weird in terms of the watts and watts per kilo it sort of com confuses you. But anyway, it's an interesting study. Um, I'll try and leave the link for it below. And cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. It must be...